Hi guys, how are you doing? I am Kashina Bago. I'm so excited to be before you today. So this video is for my ladies and it's gonna be a good one. This video is for my ladies. So if you were a gentleman, you can keep watching, but I'm really a talking to my ladies here. So as you know, guys, we're getting ready. I'm hoping you know, we're getting ready to launch our coaching intensive program, Wed With Confidence which is designed to do just that, prepare and equip women of the faith to walk into a marriage seamlessly. So we'll be going through six amazing modules that will prepare you um, to easily identify the man that God has for you without the worry of falling for the counterfeit. Um, there is nothing more detrimental to a single woman's season than falling for the counterfeit and having to go through the healing that it takes to get back in position and in alignment. Let me know in the comments if you've had any experiences with the counterfeit. If you have fallen for the counterfeit, this man has broken your heart um, and your process of really getting it together, right? Um, and getting back in the Lord's will. So as we launched, um, the program last week, I received an email from a subscriber. Um, and she's saying that she is a few years into her marriage only to find out, come on now, ladies, that the man, um, uh, married her. And she's just now discovering that he did so with ulterior motives, hidden motives that is just now coming out, um, years into the marriage. Now I'm not going to go into details about the story, but what I would like to do is to share my experiences. Um, when I said yes to marry the counterfeit, okay. Who also had ulterior motives. He had hidden motives. Um, and I didn't know that initially, but however, I was able to discover that through our conversation. But before we even begin, ladies, let me tell you, let me say this because this is so crucial. You cannot discern a man's heart. You cannot discern a man's true intention outside of the leading of the Holy Spirit. The Lord shows us clearly in scriptures that he searches the heart of a man. And when he's talking about man, you know, it's men and women, but God searches the heart but we do not, we do not have the ability to accurately, in my opinion, discover a man's intention outside of the Holy spirit. All right. And I'm talking here to women of faith. I'm talking here to daughters of the most high God. If you are waiting on God to show you the man that you should marry, if you're waiting on God to, to join you in unison with your God ordained husband, then you need the Holy spirit. You need his help. And he said, he'll do just that, right? He is our helper. So ladies, this man's words are not enough. Um, he could be saying the right things. He could be doing the right things, but the Holy spirit is the one who will reveal the heart of the man. And that is necessary before you can go forward into this relationship. Okay. So I'm going to shift gears a bit into my story. And I did post a video. If you did remember, um, some of you who've been watching or hanging or rocking with me for a few years about saying yes to marry the counterfeit. All right. So first things first, when I was in my season of singleness, the Lord did a phenomenal job to prepare me to walk into marriage. Um, and that is, I'm sure that is the same for you. Each of us or preparation season will look different because God knows exactly what he's calling each of us to. But the Lord really um, told me a lot of things. He told me his expectations, what was to come and all of that. So the first thing that the Lord said was that my husband and I will not be from the same place. That means he would not be in my community. He would be, um, we wouldn't be in the same place. That was it. When the Lord said that, I didn't know exactly what that meant. I didn't know the full extent of the word, but at least I had that. Okay. He also said, um, the Lord that he would accelerate my marriage and I would not date my husband at all. Uh, the Lord told me that it was his expectation for my life to get married at his word. Um, and that was all that I needed. I needed to trust him 
as he would accelerate my marriage and um, not really going through the dating and engagement process. So I skipped all of that. I went from married, from meeting my husband to getting married, and that was just that. So before, uh, when I was in my single season, the Lord prepared me for that. Um, he told me what was to come. He told me his expectations of me, but he also, again, brought me through a period of healing and deliverance and a mindset shift so I can fully walk into that which he promised. And also walking to that confidently, knowing that it is him, knowing that I'm marrying the man that he um, has commissioned for me. But what I really hung on to was that this man would not be from the same place. I wouldn't date him and we would get married quickly. So I was looking forward to those things. Now, let's dive in. You ladies, some of you know the story. So back in 2018, the Lord began to tell me that, hey, your husband is here. Your season, your immediate season of marriage is here. And it seemed as if the Lord lifted the veil. Okay. Um, you know, when the Lord lifts the spiritual veil, that is when you're walking in your single season and it's like, no man is pursuing you. Right. You know that you're you're hidden under a, a, a divine veil. No man is pursuing you. You come invisible to members of the opposite sex. That is just the Lord's protection. If you're in his will, he will put a veil or a covering over you a time when it's just you and him. And there is no inter no, there's no interruptions. There is no distractions. He doesn't want you dating. He doesn't want you texting or entertaining any individuals. He, he is covering you spiritually. So back in 2018, I'm sorry, 19, 19, 19, 19, 2019, the Lord, it seemed like he lifted the veil. And how I knew that was that the counterfeits were coming. Ladies, I can tell you in the space of two or one week, I met two counterfeits in one week after going three and a half years with no pursuit and no approach the first week that the Lord told me that I was really in my marriage season, I had two counterfeit encounters in one week. So the first one, I was able to eliminate easy, right? And that is the counterfeit that appeals to your, um, huh, how do I say this? To your physical taste, okay? Um, we're going to be reviewing the different types of counterfeit in our fourth module of our Wed With Confidence program. Be sure to enroll. But this one, he had everything that I was looking for physically in a man. Um, the second counterfeit, however, um, he was a little bit more hard to discern because he came exactly how God told me my husband would come. So with the first counterfeit, I was able to rule him out easy, okay? Because he had everything physically, but nothing else was lining up. Everything else was really out of alignment. And I was able to really walk away from that one. And again, I'll go into further details about the different counterfeits that you may, um, may, may see in your single season. But the second one, however, this is the one that I did the video about, ladies. The second one... We met on Facebook and the first met, we didn't even meet on Facebook. I didn't know him. He just sent a message and the message said, you are my wife. You are my wife. I mean, that was the first message, not hi or hello or how you doing. You know, he was like, you are my wife. And he was telling me that the Holy Spirit is revealing it, that I was his wife. Now, let me explain a bit. This man was saying all the things that God told me about previously, all right? He was telling me that he wanted us to get married quickly. We weren't from the same place, right? Because he was overseas from my home country. But he was saying all the things that God told me that my husband, um, or not the things that my husband would say, but his expectation of us. Like this man was just saying the same things. But I'm telling you, something was not right. Everything was lining up physically. Everything was lining up in the natural. 
but spiritually something was not right. And what was not right was that this man had ulterior motives. There was something hidden that only the Holy Spirit could reveal. And I will go deeper again into this during our conference. So make sure you join us. It is absolutely free. Registrants do have an option to sew into the program, but please make sure you join us if you find that you've had a history of dating in circles, you're frustrated in your marriage, you know, your, your season waiting for marriage or your single season. Um, you've struggled with identity issues, low self-esteem, low self-value. Um, if you feel as if you're growing weary, you know, when you're, if you're having challenges and struggles in your single season, please be sure to join us in this three week conference. But getting back to the story, the first thing that I knew was at work. Cause remember this man is saying the right things. He's doing the right things. I mean, mind you, if this is just happening over conversations, um, us having dialogues and, and thus forth, but he was saying the same thing. Oh, let me also add this. The day before the man sent me a message about me being his wife, I was driving and the Holy Spirit gave me his name. He, he just told me a name. And I'm like, God, what, who, who, you know, who is that? And I automatically thought, that God was revealing the name of my husband. So the following day, when he sent me the message on Facebook, I'm like, oh my God, this is it. I never thought to press in to ask God, what was you know the, the meaning of the name that he gave me and why he told me a name. I just automatically assumed that this was my husband. How many times do we automatically assume that when God says something, it's really about something else. No, we need to take time and test every word and, and bring the word before God and ask him to show us the true meaning and the true, um, or the true meaning behind what he has spoken to us. So when this man, you know, he was telling me that I was his wife, I was believing him. Um, I even agreed <laughs> that I was going to marry him because everything again, as I said, was lining up physically. Um, everything that I was believing for, everything that I was expecting God to do, all of those dots were connected. However, something just wasn't right in my spirit. Something wasn't right in my spirit. Something was off. And I remember after a few days, I'm saying to myself, God, something feels familiar to me. I didn't know at the time that it was the work of a familiar spirit. But what I said in my journal, what I wrote in my journal was that something feels familiar. And that was the enemy at work for me to continue date people, right? That I had to support eventually, right? So these men will come into the relationship um, with a false pretense that I had it all together, had all their finances, together and later on in the relationship, I'm helping with the rent, the groceries, the light bill, the phone bill. So that was my history. So in the beginning of this man and I, you know, we're having these, you know, you know, encounters, we're talking. I knew that something was off. I said to the Lord, it seems like a familiar spirit was at work. I mean, come on, Holy Spirit, come on, Holy. I'm telling you, it is hard to navigate through your season of singleness to find the right person without the help of the Holy Spirit. How did I know to discern that this was a familiar spirit possibly at work? That was the revelation from our Lord and Savior. Amen. So two things that he said that the Lord used to reveal his heart. And ladies, if I was in a desperate state, I could have easily missed it. I could have easily went ahead and married the counterfeit. And I always say that desperation will lead you into the arms of the counterfeit. You cannot be desperate. It doesn't matter if you've been waiting five years, 10, 15, 20. When the enemy sees that you're in a state of desperation, he will always present a counterfeit so you can settle and you can be out of alignment with God. So remember, this man, this counterfeit, he's from my home country. 
And um, he was saying that, and I'm going now back to how I was able to discern or how the Holy Spirit was able to reveal that in fact, this was the work of a familiar spirit and the man had hidden motives, right? So he was saying that, he said something very crucial. He said, listen, you don't have to worry about me, all right? When we get married, you don't have to worry about me because when you get home from work, I'm gonna make sure that your dinner is ready. I'm gonna make sure that your bath water is warm. I'm going to have the rose petals, right? I'm going to give you a massage. I'm going to really make sure that you're taken care of. And technically, there's nothing wrong with those things that he was saying. But the Holy Spirit was showing me. The Holy Spirit opened up my spirit to show me this man's heart. And what the Lord showed me basically was that this man had hidden motives. Because again, he was from my home country, right? But what is causing this man to pursue me as his wife is that he wanted to escape the hardship back home and he was willing to make it work with anybody, any woman, not just even me, any woman who had a, 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 hear, a ear to listen, any woman who had a heart to say yes, he would propose marriage, right? Cause he wanted to escape, um, the hardship living, you know, where he was living. So his motives were not anchored in the leading and the guidance of the Holy spirit. It was anchored in fear and God had to show me that. And let me tell you something. When he said that it was like my spiritual ears opened up and I'm saying to myself, something is not right because already the Lord is showing me again, nothing is wrong with what he was saying, but the Lord gave me some deeper revelation to show me that his intentions was not to come here to provide for his family, come here, be the head of his household. His intention was to treat me the best way that he could, because guess what? He knew that I was the ticket to get him out of his his current state, right? So, um, but you know, God always confirmed his word. And I mean, days later, I mean, this whole entire ordeal only took place for about seven days. Um, but it was just like a fast going seven days. It was just so much that was going on. So a few days after that incident, he was, he was pressing for my ring size. He was pressing for, um, you know, to purchase and to buy my ring. And ladies, let me even stop there. A man with ulterior motives will know how to say things. He will know how to, to speak to your heart and speak to your desires. Um, especially women of faith who have been waiting on God for a husband. Someone who is not well-intentioned will know how to speak to your heart. They will know how to speak to your emotions. They will know how to connect with that vulnerable place right? To get you to do what they want you to do. And again, I'm talking about men with ulterior motives. I'm not talking about the Kings that the Lord is sending. Amen. So you have to be careful. You have to make sure, as I said before, that you're not in a state of desperation because if you are, they will know how to speak to those pain points, um, to get you to, to think this is God. They will know how to trigger your emotions with vain words, with empty actions. Again, just for you to believe that they are the ones who God is sending. So let me continue with the story. So it was later confirmed again, when he was pressing for my ring size and this man, <laughs> again, remember I told you that the Holy Spirit revealed that it was the same familiar spirit at work that will always want me to connect with people who are men who are not providers, men who I would, in, in our, in our Island, we would say they're sponges, right? They will just sit on you. You have to take care of them. Um, you have to do much more than they're doing, especially financially. Um, and this man, even though he was pressing to buy my ring, um, even though he was pressing for my ring size, this man asked me for funds to help to purchase the ring. So he would say that he was a little short on cash, right? 
Um, and he needed me to send $200 to help him purchase the ring. Would he, would he have purchased the ring? Yes, because again, his motive was to escape. His motive was to get out of the country. His motive was to get a better life. He would have purchased the ring. He wouldn't have stopped at $200, but he didn't have it to buy a ring and he needed my help. But he thought that speaking to my desires of being a wife would have allowed me to now go in my pockets and help him to purchase a ring for me. Uh Uh-uh, it wasn't going to happen. So in that moment, that was when, that was the second thing that I knew that there was something not right here. And again, as I said, there was a familiar spirit that was at work. And the Lord used those two moments to show me his true intentions. Um, Because again, only the Lord can discern a person's heart. Only he can reveal the true heart and intentions of a man. And if you have been following my channel for a while, you know that I stress having a deep rooted relationship with God because he is committed to reveal the hidden things. And there is no way that you are able to do this thing in your own strength, with your own understanding, with your own logic. The Lord needs to show you things that you cannot see. Again, the Lord says that he searches a man hard and you have to be in tune with the Holy Spirit. So when this man is doing all the right things and seeing all the right things, only the Holy Spirit will know the true heart of the man to show you what his intentions are. So ladies, I really wanted to share with you my experience only because I got this email about this woman who married the counterfeit, who later showed her that he had ulterior motives. Um, and now she's heartbroken because she won a divorce and, and all of that. And the key here is that he was presenting well. The key here is that he said the right things. Um, he was doing the right things, but however, it is very hard to, again, understand the true heart of a man if you're not getting that revelation from the Holy Spirit. Like God needs to do um, what we cannot do. We do the most that we can do by discerning, by testing the fruit, but we do need the Holy Spirit to to guide us and to show us um, and to lead us into all truth. So ladies, I'm going to stop right here. I'm out of breath. Um, As you know, I am expecting. (laughs) So you know I'm a little bit winded. But I'm really looking forward to dive into our three-week conference or three-week program, I should say, Wed with Confidence, where we will teach and equip women how to walk in a marriage with confidence, the confidence knowing that you're meeting and you're marrying um, or you're marrying the right man. Um, to eradicate fears. We're going to address the different counterfeits. We're going to talk about the importance of healing. We're going to talk about dating through the lens of of, of having pain points. We're going to talk about all of that. Again, the goal is not to get you married. The goal is for you to marry the one that God has for you. So please, if you want to learn more about this topic, if you know you've been dating in circles, if you know you've been frustrated in your waiting season, please join us in this three-week program. Uh, We start this Friday, and I'm just super excited to serve you in this way. Again, there is no cost to the program. You could come in for free if you so desire. Uh, But those of you who are capable are able to sow into the program as you are led by the Holy Spirit. So guys, thank you so much for watching the channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.